here teaching our people who we are according to the Bible. Now let me ask you a question. Because we've been, I've asked you what your lineage is, what your race is. I've asked my brothers. Do you think that the, that's important for us to know? Do you think God cares about that? It is. Because God, Christ said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Bible. And I'm going to show you how I know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right? You know what I want? Yes, sir. Read it when you get it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my sister, my brothers, the Bible said that God was going to put curses on his people. We made a covenant with God. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Bible said, the Lord said he would set thee on high above all nations upon the earth. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. So we're going to find out who Moses was talking to. We're going to find out who he was talking to, who these promises were made to. <laughs> Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is talking to the Israelites. Moses is talking to the Israelites. Moses was a black man. Despite what we see in TV, on TV, despite what we see in the movies. This, this Bible is full of black people. Right. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. But when we went into slavery for breaking God's laws, then they got our Bible. This is our history book. God gave these laws, these are our forefathers writing about our history. Right? So Moses said in the verse 15 of uh, chapter 28, read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read. <clears throat> Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. My sister and my sister going up here, going up the hill. Black people in the city. What is the condition of their life? How do we live in the city? Let me ask you, have you ever been out of state? Yeah. Have you, uh, when you go out of state, you go where your people are. You, you have been to what they call the hood. When you go out of state and we go to the hood, we go to the ghetto, we go to where black people live. Does it look just like it looks here? Pretty much, right? We're in the same conditions. We're in the same conditions in Virginia. We're in the same conditions in North Carolina. We're in the same conditions in New York in California, in Alabama, in Texas, in South Dakota. We are living in the same conditions. Why? Because we broke the laws of God. Right. That's why. You saw that movie, uh, 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 They Clone Tyrone? Yeah. You saw that? The basis of that movie is basically, that is a prototype of a black man. That is a prototype of a black woman. Loud, not staying at home, a baby mama, not married, multiple baby daddies, twerking, you can't tell her nothing, a black man, irresponsible, lazy, hates his brothers, gang affiliated, don't want a job, got a jail record, didn't graduate high school, uneducated, and that prototype, you see the same type everywhere. And for whatever reason, because, and, no, not whatever reason, because we have been destroyed as a people. That's the man that our sisters are attracted to. All of them having babies by the one or two dudes that are like that. 
that's the woman that our brothers are attracted to. All of them trying to sleep with the same few females. And they try to out ratchet each other. Who can have the longest nails? Who can put on the skimpiest outfit? Who can who who would do the wildest stuff in public? That is what they have created here. The black man and the black woman is a creation out of the destruction of our people. Read that again. Cursed in the city. Read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city. We're the first ones fi uh, fired, the last ones hired, sis. They have the Planned Parenthood in our communities. So you don't have to go far to abort your baby that you have with the clone Tyrone. You ain't got to go far. And our sisters have aborted to the tune of 18 million babies since 1973. How many doctors did we kill? How many lawyers did we kill? And you know what the man said when that woman went to uh, 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 tell that man, that, uh, when, when the sister came and said, I'm pregnant, what, what you want to do? He didn't rejoice. A lot of them didn't rejoice. I, well, hold on. I ain't ready to be a daddy. Let me get the money. And even if he did, this place has told our sister, it's your body, it's your choice. But the Bible says, thou shall not kill. Right. Your God told you, don't kill. So no man can come behind God and tell you it's okay for you to kill your baby. Read. Curse shalt thou be in the field. My sister, who picked cotton in the field? Who picked tobacco? Who picked rice? Who picked sugar cane? Beans? Even today, our brothers come up from Mexico. Migrant farmers, migrant workers, undocumented, getting cheated out of wages. There are, there are articles of people coming from Mexico and then when they get here, their papers being taken. Farmers locking them on the farm, not paying them for months, making them work. Their kids, our brothers and sisters, getting their children, our brothers, locked in cages when they cross the border of a, of a land that they used to own. We are the ones that are cursed in the field. And even any field you go into, most of our, our people go to college and get a degree and then they don't work in the field that they got that expensive degree in. Read. Drop down to 32. Verse 32. Drop to 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife. You know what betroth means, sis? Right, choose. Betroth. That means I chose you. You are mine. We are supposed to get married. We're going to get married. It's what we would call engaged today. Read. And another man shall lie with her. You hear that, sis? The Bible said that we will betroth wives and another man will lie with her. That's not talking about taking a nap. And that's when it happens, sis. You're exactly right. In slavery. In slavery. What do you think it did to our relationships between the men and the women? How did that woman look at her husband who couldn't protect her? Like he was weak. How did that man look at his wife who just laid with another man? What, so those things perpetuate our community even today. That disdain between us. That's just one of the many things that happen to our people that we are still affected by slavery today. And that's why they give you all the distractions. That's why they give men sports. That's why they give women nails and hair and Atlanta housewives and all those things so that you don't think about your history. You don't stop to think about what happened to you and stop to realize that we are in the prison that we call America. Where our ancestors were brought here as slaves. We're still there. If they were slaves, what does that make us? Hey, my brother, how you doing? Hey, we're going over the Bible. We're going over who we are according to the script. Do you believe in the Bible, bro? Because we're going over some good history, bro. You need to come down here and check us out, man. So read what you got, verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And so now me and my slave wife, and you did you know that even in slavery, we were more married then than we are now? We had more 
families of a husband, a wife, a child, and all that reverence the father in slavery than we have now? Yeah. Now our communities are full of baby mamas and baby daddies and absent fathers. Right. And N words ain't ish. And you can't trust these hoes. That's what we got today. But in slavery, when this was happening to us, we had sense enough to build families. We have been destroyed, my sister. But the Bible is what's gonna build us back.